Hi guys, welcome to Coders Digest. And today we will see how we can filter our data frame using log and ilog functions using the pandas library. Okay. So uh, we have uh, certainly came across in the situations when we would like to filter out our data, uh, essentially to have a, a look and make more sense about the data or sometimes during the visualizations also. Uh, we want uh, to filter our data on some sort of filter and then uh, plot the bars and all those things. So, so let's move to uh, so let's move to the Jupyter notebook, and then we will see how we can how we can use the LOC and ILOC functions in pandas for filtering our data frame. Okay, so let me open my Jupyter notebook. So while it opens, okay, so it has opened it. All right, so let me go to my folder. I think I have it here, Python. And let me create a file. So I'll create a Python 3 notebook. And so for this demonstration, I'm using the C1 library which I have installed and if you have not installed the C1 library uh, the command to install is you can pip install C1 you can type it in your uh, command prompt and it will be downloaded for you and you can use it so I am not using C1 for visualization here and uh, it will make sense when we will proceed with this video so as it is being imported right now let me write some more lines of code so data equals to sns dot load underscore data set and i'll say titanic so you might not be familiar that c1 also has a package load data set which contains some of the packages some of the popular packages and i'm using titanic package here for this particular demonstration so let me see here and uh, so you can see that I have my Titanic data set here and uh, guys one more thing uh, before proceeding uh, that this code will be available in the description of this video and the data you can get it from the this particular command so uh, please do check out it there and uh, I would also recommend you to please like and subscribe my channel so that uh, you get a notification for all the upcoming future videos okay so now uh, first of all before uh, before going further let me let me introduce you with the uh, let me just give you a brief idea about what is loc and iloc so uh, loc and iloc are basically two commands and what it means that loc is basically used for location and iloc <coughs> you might have guessed it but it is used as uh, integer location right and the difference uh, if i tell you right now then it might not be making that much sense once we will see it in the demonstration uh, the things will be much more clear okay so first of all uh, let me create a table 2 heading and uh, i'll say that first we will take a look at the loc okay and after that we will take a look at the ilog okay so now i have my data here so now let us say i want to filter my data and say that you want to see uh, or you want to filter that which all are the uh, which all are the survived okay which all are the persons which have survived the titanic tragedy okay so for that uh, you will use the data doc, doc log and then in the square brackets you will write your condition okay so uh, i have write, written here that data does survive equals to one so essentially i'm saying that okay uh, pandas please give me all those records or all those the list of passengers who have survived okay similarly let us say uh, you say that okay that uh, okay, but I want to do some more filtering. Uh, so basically you can just go on and uh, uh, write out your uh, Code as it is uh, as you wish to so let us say you want to find out the passengers class 3 and uh, and uh, You want to perform some analysis or some uh, uh, You can say that you want to uh, do some analysis on this particular data after filtering it and uh, now let us say you want to say that okay but i don't want all the columns 
I want, uh, let us say you want, I want survived that I want to see, uh, I want to see uh, which are the records in survived. All right. So you can write down it like this or, and let us say that if you want to see some more records, you want to see that, okay, I also want to see the sibling and spouse also. So basically there is another way to write it down and that will be much more convenient as I believe. So how can we do that? So let me just comment it out from here. And what I'll do that, let me put it in a bracket first. And after this, I will write out what columns do I want. Okay. So let us say you say that I want the column survived. And similarly, I would also like to see the passenger class. Okay. So you say that, uh, or we have already filtered on passenger class. Let us say that I would like to see that from where this particular passenger has embarked the Titanic. So you have provided the two columns. And if you run it, then you see that first you have filtered your data for passenger class three and survived and embarked. So now you can uh, take a look at the data and uh, you can essentially make a sense that on the passenger class three, these are all the survived and this is the column that from where those have embarked and you can do analysis on this or you can plot these data and this kind of things. Okay. And similarly, you can just change your parameters now. Um, one thing you might have noticed that uh, we have used one condition here. Uh, can we use multi multiple conditions uh, in order to filter our data frame? Well, uh, of course you can do. So let me just uh, make it a heading here. Okay. And let me type out here filtering using multiple conditions. All right. So now, now what I'll do, I'll just simply copy my data from here. I will obviously remove these selected columns here. And what I want to say that, okay, uh, uh, it makes sense that I have now filtered my data on the basis of uh, the passenger class one. Now on those, I would also like to see that what is the gender of uh, of those uh, let us say that i want to see uh, the passenger class one with the gender okay so i want a second filter on the gender right so uh, that's not an issue you can just go and say data dot i think the variable name is sex and and you say that okay i want to see the females data in here all right so then we write it as data dot sex equals to female. And now you see that we have this uh, data containing all the female records for passenger class three. All right. And you can similarly just go and uh, uh, just play around with this and it will give you some confidence and some sense. All right. No. Uh, um, similarly, I know that it doesn't make much sense but you can uh, with the with the and you can also use the operator logical operator or also all right so oh, let us say that we have this thing here and you are in such a scenario that you want to use an or condition i don't uh, let us say that somehow you just say that you want to filter it out on the basis of an or condition so basically you will write an or symbol like this. So don't write it like this. Let us say if you are coming from a Shisha background, then you might have tendency to write it like this, but that won't work here. Or let me just show you. So this is not a valid or symbol here, but this is. So let us say you want to, uh, you have a situation where you want to uh, filter your data based on any of these two conditions. And, and you basically want to, you know, uh, basically want to uh, uh, filter the data on the basis of that. Now, let us say you want to manipulate the data basis on certain condition. So let me just write another heading here. And, and what 
we can do let me write a heading manipulate data based on certain condition all right so so let us say that you want uh, some sort of uh, you want to change some column uh, basis on certain given condition all right so how can you do that and for that uh, we can actually filter our data all right and then we can just simply uh, uh, update the update our uh, variable basis on that so let us say that uh, I have filtered my data data dot log and uh, suppose you have made some you want to make some changes on a data frame basis on the data dot p class so let us say that you say that uh, I am filtering my data on the basis of class 2 so this is my passenger class 2 data and what I want here that on the basis of this I want to say that uh, I am assuming that there is some mistake with my fare and I want my fare to be let us say uh, let me write it here that fear should be uh, let us say you say that uh, there must be some mistake here for the passenger class 2 the fare actually we were having was $35 so you say I want to say that on the basis of all the analysis I have uh, there was some mistake in the data and the passenger class 2 fare was 35 for all the passengers so this is how first you will filter your data basis on this given condition and then you will take the column for which you want to update the values and then you will certainly write this all right so now if you will check it here then if i see okay so uh so you can see that for passenger class 2 the fare should be 35 so let me so you can see it here but let me just do one thing let me just filter my data on the basis of passenger class 2 and then uh, you can have a look at this so if I scroll it down then you can see here that for all the passenger class 2 we have set our columns our value of fare as $35 so we can basically you can see that uh, basically we have just uh, uh, a generalized uh, fair price for our uh, this uh, column all right so now now let us move ahead towards the i log which is uh, filtering on the basis of uh, uh, which is filtering on the basis of uh, we can say using the integer location so let me just write a heading here and i'll type i log okay now so as i told you earlier this is basically filtering on the basis of integer so we will not uh, be going as much detail in this as we went for uh, LOC because now we will just simply filter our data on the basis of uh, 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 integer location so let us say that we want to see the first location so you can see the first record is like this all right so now uh, you see that uh, this is not a list so what you can do that you can just write it like this and now it is as a list for you all right so now uh, you can similarly do multiple things uh, uh, apart of uh, uh, doing this what you can also do that let us say that you want to uh, uh, filter a range or you want to select a range so let us say I want to see the record from 1 to 10 okay I uh, you can do this uh, using the head also but let us say that you say that okay I want to write it manually I want to take some more headache or burden and I want to do it myself so you can do, uh, do it like this all right so now uh, you can see that we have essentially selected our first top 10 rows and what you can do similarly let us say that you want to uh, uh, you want to see the last row then you can write it as minus one all right and okay my mistake and probably 
I was making a mistake here as well so please correct it although that will also work but basically this is how and now if I write minus one okay okay my mistake data dot I look and you can see that this is your last row all right so you can basically this is our 819th 90th 90th row so this is our last row all right so now similarly as we have filtered on this we can uh, also filter the columns all right so let me just copy this and let me just paste it here and we have selected 1 to 10 rows but you say that I also want to select the first five columns so you can just simply provide it like this and you can see that it is like first column second third fourth fifth so uh, the fifth column and uh, fifth column will not be included as you uh, might be knowing the Python indexing so this is uh, selected columns one two three and four only and if you want to select a particular column so you want to say that I don't want all this I just simply want my fifth column and the 10 rows so you can write it like 1 comma 5 so this is your our fifth column or yeah this is our fifth column all right so this is all uh, which we have uh, for this video uh, as for as I look and log goes so these are basically used for filtering and uh, these are much more helpful when you are using uh, the visualization library and you want to plot some data and so what you can do that you can filter your data on the go and uh, you can if you want you can store it in a in a variable and you can just plot your data from there all right so i hope uh, you would like this video and if you do then please do let me know in the comment box and uh, uh, certainly if you have any doubts and please also let me know in the comment box and uh, before leaving please do not forget to like and subscribe this video and uh, i will be working on getting more such videos which will be helping you in the python coding thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you next time thank you very much